So the men's javelin F13, this is least visual impairment. We're joining it towards the end of the third round. This is Joel Janssen of Sweden, 43.80 to get into the top eight. He has to improve by exactly two metres. Hector Cabrera Glaser is our leader for Spain, a European record, 62.28. It's a championship record as well, matching that of Branimir Budicic of Croatia, who has also thrown 62.28, but the Spaniard leads on countback. So this has to be 45 metres to keep going. Uh, looks to be beyond 40, but really not much beyond that. Budicic, the world record holder, Victory in Doha and the World Championship, 65-72. There's a mixture of F-13s and F-12s in this. European record at F-12 held by Milos Galika of Serbia, who is in this, and that set of the World Championships in Christchurch in 2011. Janssen starting off with a 43.80, but a massive disimprovement in the second round. Down seven metres on that with his second attempt. Well, I'm not sure that that's going to be beyond 45 metres sufficiently to displace Darius Lazinski. 44 metres, 62, his best effort of the day, but he misses out by a metre. Good try, though. This is Branimir Budicic, the reigning world champion in the javelin, representing Croatia. 65-72 in winning gold in Doha. So what's he got in his locker here? That's a great effort. That is a very impressive effort as he's looking to dominate this event. Remember in the uh, opening rounds, he and Hector Cabrera Lasso were uh, jousting around the 60-meter mark. Sixty-two meters seventy-nine is a new championship and European record. So let's go back to the javelin and the championship record set today of Branimir Budicic of sixty-two seventy-nine holds the world and European record of sixty-five seventy-two. This is his penultimate throw in pole position. The reigning world champion. That's gone a great distance. Has he done it again? He's put himself in a great prime position here. A European record today. That went a long distance. That's beyond 60 metres at least. Hector Cabrera Lasser in second place. Dmitrievic of Serbia has moved up into third. Budicic likes that one. He knows it's gone a long way. It has gone a long way. That is a new world record at F13 of 65.74, and he's broken his mark by two centimeters. Brilliant throwing by Budicic, and he's improved what was the championship record set earlier by three meters. Dmitrievic of Serbia, his final round throw. 60 metres 15, a lifetime best to put him up into third. The bronze medal position is around the same mark again. Hector Cabrera Lasser of Spain in second place. He needs to improve by at least two metres. It's F13 and F12, but it's not a strength category. So even though there are two categories together in this, they don't have to worry about points. And Dmitrievic throws 57.99, and he'll stay in third. And that for him is the bronze medal and a great result for the man who won bronze in the Javelin of the World Championships last year. Well, we've seen fantastic performances, 
given his, his throw there in his final round. Seen fantastic performances, but I'm sure a lot of attention is surely going to be on the men's long jump. Coming up next in the world record holder in action there, who's jumped a phenomenal 8 metres 40, Marcus Wren. But here is the new world record holder in the javelin, Budicic, 65-74 in round five. Can he improve on it? It's been a brilliant day for him. It's a huge throw again. But it won't be measured. He just stepped out. It's a red flag. And again, it went well out beyond 60 metres. He put a huge amount into that. And with Perkovic and the IAAF circuit, a great time for Croatian throwing. He's got the world record and he's got the gold as well.